to import bookmarks into Chrome, click on the little wrench and then you'll scroll down to import bookmarks and settings and you have options to import from your other browsers. You hit your control button and B and if this is not already showing up, the area where your bookmarks that you may have pulled in from Internet Explorer or Firefox will be available. Over here under other bookmarks you'll see that all of my old bookmarks are available. I do not have the plug-in Foxmarks which I love so if I want to import those into my Foxmarks account I have to take it back over to Firefox and then sync it but I'm sure that these add-ons will be cross compatible very shortly or some version of Chrome's add-on services will be available in the open market. How do you add something to your bookmarks? It's really pretty straightforward. You see that right there? It tells you that star edit bookmark for this page. So you can click on it. It will either add it to the bookmarks or it will allow you to edit an existing bookmark. You can either uh, name it here or put it into a folder that you have as a default folder or if you like choose another folder and it will give you all of the folders you had from your previous bookmark listings. Another thing you want to notice is your options. Over here on this little wrench, just click on that. You can look at your history, your downloads, you can change your configuration, go to options. You have a lot of stuff you can change, like if you want to open multiple pages, if you want to have a standard open page for your startup page, you can choose default search engines. Kind of funny for a search engine company to offer multiple search engines, but they have. Um, you can modify a couple of different things like saving passwords, not saving passwords. There's a few things under the hood that you may want to take a look at if you're an advanced user. But that's pretty much it. It's straightforward. This is a very simple browser at this point. There's not a lot of add-ons available yet, but I'm sure that, that will change very shortly. And as time goes on, also you want to notice too, this little thing right here, uh, bring up new tab, new window, new incognito window. You may want to Google that to find out what that means. There are developer tools built in. That's kind of cool because I use developer tools. And uh, you can create application shortcut right there. Pretty straightforward product. It's really simple at this point, very streamlined. But I think that's kind of the way of Google. And at this point, to be honest, I didn't want to like this product, but I really kind of do.